We're standing in front of Jeff Koons, and it's déjeuner sur l'herbe with a beautiful reflecting ball. And what we see is typically the woman is undressed, the men are are garbed, and isn't that a statement about how women are looked at in the world? That here the women are in a state of, of being looked at and of being referred to in a very different way. And then having the reflection ball makes it even more interesting because we see ourselves reflected just as she's reflected in their eyes. And the woman in the very rear is alone. She's not part of the entire entire narrative, but she finishes the top of the triangle because it balances the entire form inside the forest. But what makes it so interesting to me is the reflection ball as we're reflected in the art and the art's reflected in us. So I find this a very interesting painting. It's painting because to me it has like a very sci-fi element that I think is very unique to the Jeff Koons or there. It's classic, but yet futuristic. But if we focus on the now, the orb is our now. You know, we don't have to time travel with this particular painting. It allows us to become a part of it by focusing deeply on the orb. It's a little bit of past, present, and future. And that's the beauty of this piece. In a painting, um, trying to have the focus on the woman who's naked um, and the two men just having a very casual conversation. Um, the, the ball at the front um, seems to be inviting for the for us, for us to try to, to be part of the of the painting as well. Hello, I am here reviewing Jeff Koons' painting at the Jeffrey Deitch Gallery, and uh, it's very interesting to say the least. I think one of the things that I personally find most incredible about Jeff Koons is his constant evolution as an artist and how he started off maybe in the erotic, uh, with erotic themes being most prevalent, obviously now being most widely known for balloon dog and, and such sculptures. To look at this piece, again, is just sort of, uh, I, I find it confusing and beautiful in the juxtapositions that he finds and uh, the, you know, the construct of his, his orb and sculpture at the front is in comparison with the more traditional uh, style that he's gone with here. I think the colors are beautiful as they're sort of subdued and there's a heaviness and, and gravity to them. And then that is sort of offset by the, the beautiful orb at the front. So all in all, I find this a very, very interesting Jeff Koons piece.